I'm going to show you how to do some future rhythm drums. I'm going to start with my kick. Uh, I showed how to do this in a previous video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. A lot of people like to do the stompy kicks where it's like kick on one and three. But lately I've been leaning towards more of like a trap kick pattern where it's like kick on one and then on the second bar kick on two. And then like when it gets to the fourth bar I do kick on two and four. Then I duplicate it or loop it. And then I make a ride uh, usually out of a hi-hat. When I make my patterns, uh, I usually press Command 4 or Control 4 if you're on Windows and then have it slightly like off grid so then it's like a little swingy. I loop it. If you didn't know, you can do a key map, Command or Control K. I set L to loop it. I actually don't like this hat. I want to do like a, a solo from Leo Tricks. Get a vocoder, then turn up the formant. Turn up the release. Also turn up the range or and adjust your low frequency. Adjust the depth, enhance it. If it's still free, you can get kilohertz transient shaper and then turn down the attack all the way and then turn up the sustain and the speed. So it's like throwing a splashy ride. Then I get my auto EQ, which is just uh, an envelope follower linked to the scale of two different EQ weights. On my expanding EQ, I like to turn on a high shelf, and then on my compressing EQ, I make a bell toward like the more upper mids, and then high pass it. And then a nice little sauce to put on it is a chorus. Turn up the rate, maybe turn down the dry wet and turn up the amount. No, that is nice. And then if you feel like it's not loud enough, you can get glue compressor. If you want an easy fix for this, I have a ride maker rack I'm going to link in the description. I've linked it before, so you can turn any hi-hat into a ride. Now uh, we're going to do the snare, but before we do that, I'm just going to group these together. Call this group drums. And then make a group called kick snare and you'll find out later so this applies to like all samples that you use but you should be picking like good samples that sound good like by themselves i probably learned this way later than i i should have if you have ear candy snares and kicks and rides then it, it's just going to be easier to make a banger track i'll start looping this one then i like to layer snares to kind of make your own big clap just big big impact of a snare Maybe one with more noise now. I like to sort out my snares by how they sound. Like I have a trappy snare, snappy, perky, metallic, dubby, some clap snares and some like actual claps and then like authentic sounding. So now that we have like a basic drum outline, I'm gonna turn on the MIDI I made. Now something you probably noticed while listening to that is that the drums don't really stand out. They don't really pop. That's why we are going to group all of this and make a send called side chain. So this is just going to be where our drums can cut through the mix easy. So this group, I usually call it else because it's everything else. It's not the drums. I route it through sends only. Turn up the send chain all the way. So then all of this will only be going through this side chain and you don't have to put the same side chain on every single group that you have. And same with these other reverb and echo sends I have, sends only. Enable the side chain send, turn them up all the way. Uh, my go-to is compressor and just get side chain input from the kick snare group we made earlier. I usually turn off the EQ, turn the ratio to infinity to one and then attack down to almost zero and then set it to peak and then bring it down to whatever threshold sounds about right. A mistake that a lot of, a lot of people have made, I've, I've seen, is that the knee is soft and just because like they don't, people really don't really think of, think about the knee a lot. To make it a really hard like cut through, you turn it down to zero. And then adjust the release so you have a nice like little window for your drums to cut through. Another way to give your drums like a little window, like to make them like kind of pop out more, you can pre-delay your side chain track by like say like, and then re-delay everything else.
Just so you know, I decided to make my kick start clipping. Sometimes it sounds really nice. If you like to gain stage your drums and all that, then go for it. But I like to get dirty with it. If you want a really more like boxy kick, you can just, uh, instead of compressor, get a gate. Do the same thing, get a sidechain input from the kick snare group, then flip your gate, turn the floor down to negative infinity. You can even play with the EQ and see. And if you don't like how much your drums stand out, you can always get a drum bus. Adjust the transients. And another alternative you can use is Panks. I was really skeptical of getting this plug in first, but it can be somewhat useful. I could have had way better MIDI to prepare for this, but I just guess I just want to show you the basic idea of getting a simple future rhythm slash rhythm drum pattern. Hope you learned something new from this tutorial. Come and join my Discord uh, if you want to get some free racks, talk about sound design with other people, and participate in weekly production challenges. I think that's all I have for right now, so uh, hags. <laughs>